uh, now every single day since the inauguration. Sean Spicer has been on the front lines of Donald Trump's war against the media, which, by the way, is not a normal thing, right? Everyone's like, oh, Donald Trump's war against... That's not a normal thing. Just <laughs> keep reminding ourselves. It's not a normal thing. So anyway, last night, uh, Donald Trump said to congressional leaders that he still believes he would have won the popular vote if millions wouldn't have voted illegally. <laughs> and so, like a firefighter in Dubai, <laughs> Sean Spicer flew into action. Does the president believe that millions voted illegally in this election, and what evidence do you have of widespread voter fraud in this election, if that's the case? I, 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 as I said, I think the president has believed that for a while based on studies and information he has. I, and I think we, we, I, we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> I uh, oh, see, and I, uh, 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 and you know, uh, yeah. You know, you know, Sean Spicer probably thinks he looks smooth like those firefighters in Dubai, but he ended up looking a lot more like this guy. Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. <laughs> oh. I feel like, I feel like that's the perfect metaphor for Trump's presidency so far. It starts right now! <laughs> this is Sean Spicer's job. Trump bulls**t, and he's the guy who's agreed to go out every day with the air freshener. <laughs> and, and by the way, not good air freshener. You know that air freshener that just makes things worse? <laughs> you know, like, when you walk in and now you smell the <laughs> and the air freshener, you know that? <laughs> Where you walk in the room and you're like, ah, I think someone took a <laughs> on some old lemons. What's going on in this room? What's going on in this room? <laughs> but, but who is Sean Spicer? Who is he? Well, we'll find out in today's installment of Profiles in Tremendousness. I have the most dedicated people. I have the best people. Now, Sean Spicer first joined the Trump campaign in the middle of 2016. And uh, that was back when the Trump campaign was like one of those buses in India. It was swerving all over the place. <laughs> People were getting thrown off, other people were climbing on, and there was always stories of women being groped. But Spicer turned out to be a great choice for press secretary, because it turns out he's been dealing with the biased media all of his life. The New York Times had a, uh, an article uh, this morning about his relationship to the media. It goes back to his college days, when the college newspaper referred to him as Sean Sphincter. <laughs> college kids are mean, man. <laughs> because Spicer is not even close to Sphincter. They just wanted to call him Sean Sphincter, which is messed up. It sounds like a mascot for a medical school. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> Let's go, Sphincters! Push, 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 push! Yeah! <laughs> and you know college nicknames stay with you for life. Even yesterday in the press room, there was one reporter who wouldn't let it go. A sphincter says what? What? A sphincter says what? What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, other than his nickname, there are a few things worth knowing about Sean Spicer. He used to work for Reince Priebus. Uh, he served in the Navy. And he's been in a five-year Twitter war with Dippin' Dots. For the better part of the past, oh, five years, Press Secretary Sean Spicer has had a very public feud with Dippin' Dots. It turns out Spicer has heavily criticized this sweet treat in the past. Some tweets include, Dippin' Dots is not the ice cream of the future. You know what? No, no, you know what? You know what? That's one thing Sean Spicer is not lying about. Dippin' Dots are not the ice cream of the future. You know why? because there's no ice cream in the future, because the world's too hot, because Donald Trump doesn't believe in climate change. <laughs> He's gonna gut carbon regulations. And just today, he signed an executive order slashing the environmental review process for all new development. Now, I want ice cream. <laughs> I want ice cream so badly. Mm. <laughs> but uh, if there's one thing... I was thinking about the ice cream, sorry. I was... <laughs> I really love ice cream. If there's one thing you need to know about Sean Spice, it's this. He chews and swallows at least 35 pieces of Orbit cinnamon gum every day. Chews and swallows. Now, now, if that's true, that's horrifying <laughs> for Orbit gum, because that's a huge dilemma. This famous dude is saying he uses your product, but not in the way you want. You know, it would be like if Mario Batali was like, KitchenAid spatulas are the best for sticking up your ass. <laughs> Molto bene. 
getting there. I mean, to me, swallowing 35 pieces of gum every day sounds dangerous, but Spicer is chill about it. In fact, he said, I talked to my doctors about it. He said, it's no problem. <laughs> and my first thought after hearing that is, okay, cool, but is your doctor Donald Trump's doctor by any chance? <laughs> Actually, it, it really made me think, is it dangerous to chew and swallow 35 pieces of gum? To find out, I've decided to test it myself on Ronnie Chang. What's up, Ronnie? Hey, what's up? Uh, can you chew and swallow all of this gum? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You, don't you want to know what it's about? All right, free gum is free gum. Okay, fin finish it backstage. We'll, we'll check in with you later. Oh. Ronnie Chang, everybody. Ronnie Chang. <laughs> 35 pieces of gum. Just keep chewing the gum. Keep chewing. So, so, okay, so now we're on the same page, and now that you know a, a bit about who Sean Spicer is, let's go back to yesterday, when Spicer marched his belly full of gum in uh, front of the press corps <laughs> for his first press briefing. Uh, well, he said it was his first, but it, it wasn't. Uh, he also came out on Saturday to lie about how many people were at Trump's inauguration, but let's agree that it was his first, even though it wasn't. Alternative facts, whatever, we keep them moving. <laughs> so, so yesterday, yesterday, Spicer took questions for the first time about the most important topics facing America, like the economy and whether numbers are important in it. Just really <laughs> simple. What is the average national unemployment rate? What's, what's the average? What, no, I mean, what's the overall unemployment rate? Are you talking rate? about whether or not we include the full? I'm just asking you. I, I mean, the Bureau of Labor Statistics puts it out. You accept no, 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 I, it's not a question of what I accept. And Trump at one point said it was 42%. It's not just a number to him. He's not focused on statistics as much as he is on whether or not the American people are doing better as a whole. Well, Wait, did he just say unemployment isn't a number, it's a feeling? <laughs> this guy would be the worst ESPN reporter ever. And what a Super Bowl, Jim. Final score, Patriots-Falcons feeling good in America. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> the unemployment rate is a number. It's 4.7%, which is really low. The reason the Trump administration won't say the actual unemployment number is because if they do, in seven months, they won't be able to take credit for when it drops to 9%. <laughs> but the most revealing part of yesterday's session was when Spicer took uh, the media to task for their coverage of the new administration. There is this constant theme to undercut the enormous support that he has. And I think it's just unbelievably frustrating when you're continually told it's not big enough, it's not good enough, you can't win. The default narrative is always negative. And it's demoralizing. It's so weird that after spending a year and a half watching Donald Trump bully his way to the White House, now that he's in power, all his team can do is complain about him getting bullied. That's such an insane thing, which reminds me, Ronnie, get back out here, Ronnie! Hey. Ronnie! Stop. Stop. <laughs> and? Uh... I saw the gum and uh, I feel fine. What, like completely fine? Yeah. Yeah, you guys need to lay off Sean Spicer, okay? Just because you swallowed 35 pieces of gum doesn't mean anything weird's gonna happen. <laughs> you, you got it. Ronnie Chang, everybody. Hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that video, click here to subscribe. Just keep the mouse pointer away from my face, please. Don't, no, don't, here, click here to sub, not, not my face. Click here. Please. Please, that looks... Don't do that. That's sharp. That's sharp. Click here to subscribe.